We're on the roof. On the roof, look, it's all Yorkshire stone. There's uh, the crew. Hi. Oh, careful, Penelope, my lord. Be careful, sweetheart, on there. Uncle Lau, got time for a quick interview, mid roof. How are we doing? Well, um, yeah, we're doing good. It's still it's coming up. It's gone off. So there you go, Uncle Al. We've done it. I, I feel like there's something climbing down my head. Yeah. Oh Your gosh, <laughs> my hairline is climbing <laughs> down my back. That's <laughs> fine. So here you go. Yeah. We've cleared uh, cleared out the uh, cars in. Yeah. We might have overestimated quite how much ivy there was because. That is now my garden. Honey. Which, Honey. yeah, I don't know what to say. Honey. It's an epic bush. It's, it's an epic bush. So on here, as you can see, it's all Yorkshire stone. It's cleared off, um, and we managed to get the doors open. We've discovered there's a little red wagon in there. There's two Mark V Golf GTI wheels, which are knackered. Uh, we have a little. Old cast iron kids play police car, and then it's just garden junk in there. But we mentioned it, it's actually got quite high ceilings, isn't it? On this side, yeah, it's really high on this side. Um, yeah, it's very strange. I don't know why, it's, why would they step the roof like that? Like, what would have been the reason? I think it's to do with rain or something. I bet that's what it is, you know, because that's Yorkshire flag. I wonder if they they did that, that it's overlapped on one side, isn't it? So maybe that was just to get one set of flags over the other ones. But if you look at them, they're not even central to the wall either. It's a bit odd. And that wall's really thick on that side. So, what were the measurements? What do you reckon they were? Uh, they're two metres deep. This side to the back wall, or just under, was like 1.95, wasn't it? And then each one of the two rooms at the moment, not one, each one of the two rooms, was about 19, just under a metre. Yeah. It's, it's roughly going to be like two metres by two metres. Roughly. Roughly, just under. We're gonna... um, and if you've watched George Clark's Amazing Spaces, George, George Formby's, George, Fal uh, George Foreman's Amazing Grills. Um, or you like your tiny house living stuff that me and my wife like to watch. You, you've come to realise the amount of stuff you can fit in a two metre by two metre box. There you go. Yeah. So there you go, peeps. It's going to be proper. We're going to have old school red carpet. Patterned carpet. Copper top table. I've got a copper top table. Red battered worn like old school bus style material on the cushions. Oh, not that, I've, that stuff that itches. <laughs> just itches. Do you remember as a kid? You get, it was like super hard wearing, but it was just so uncomfortable. Yeah, and then we'll use, probably use better. The idea is at the moment, though I may change, is to bench seat it, because then we can actually put like the fridges or maybe the, the kegs or the casks under the, under the benches, saving space. Yeah, we could do something like that. In a tiny bar. Tiny bar enough to, well, I reckon I could get a keg in there. Um, yeah, easy. There's not a lot. The only other thing is getting power and water and stuff. It's only for us two. Yeah. No one else is allowed to come in. No, no one else? No one. No one. Well, I think, I don't think it would be that hard. Else around, it's, it's a 
Tak. Tak, no jest dobrze. One są the heck. So, uh, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm dreading tip run. I think I'll feel better once we've got the last bits of this out, cleared all this junk inside and all of that rubbish. Uh, anybody looking for see, a couple of golf wheels, uh, just put it in the comment. Mark 5 is that? Yeah, it's old, isn't it? Oh, I know, they were on one of my T4s. See, there's a pipe sticking out there, a bit of lead pipe. I think that's where the water used to come in and would have been joined to this one. So I bet the water connection's not there anymore. Well, you, do you, need, yeah, you need water. No, you don't need water. Well, well I don't need water. You could it'd just do, be um, nice. old school pumps like camper vans and Yeah, it's caravans. just annoying though, isn't it? Maybe we just have alcohol and we don't need any water. Well, how do we need water? I don't well, know. I've just got it in my head that I need water. We could put bottled water in the fridge. Yeah. True. Well, not bald water. Yeah, yeah. Like, not bald, though, like a nice glass one. Yeah. yeah we, this is going to be... We could have a Havana smoking lounge. <laughs> it's tempting. Like but we, we did... Could have, we could have... We could turn the rooftop into a rooftop shisha terrace. Mmm. I have considered... I'm definitely going with a wood-burning stove. You've got to do that. That's, that's not even, like... That's not even in my head. Something to decide. It's just, it's just a, a fact that there must be. A, if you don't have a wood burning stove in there, we failed. It's true. Sorry, I just shamelessly plug in our beer. Yeah, no, I agree. I looked. I saw Machine Mart. They do some pretty uh, well priced wood burners. The flues and stuff are what, and the the bits and bobs that link to it we are can, as much as the fire. But we, we can make all make that out of guttering. Yeah. Plastic guttering. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. Plastic guttering and cardboard. We'll just go Blue Peter on it. I'm feeling that that might be a bit of a hazard. We can turn this into our own But saying because it's all stone, it's not, it's not that bad a thing to be able to do, I don't Who know. Who needs a flu? Uh, everybody needs a flu on a fire now. <laughs> it's pretty dangerous. We we'll just wear masks. Uh, that's not going to help. But it will be pretty cool, I reckon. And with the walls being so thick, I'm just concerned that it's it does appear to be a little bit damp in there. It will well it will be damp because it's had the vents covered by ivy, living things growing in it. It is also technically underground. It's covered by an mountain of garden yeah, on that yeah. side. So you you'll have to think about um, I don't know about tanking it to be over the top, but you'd have to think about doing something. A, a yeah. wooden floor down, maybe tarp underneath it, that kind of... That, like a membrane down. Yeah, like that kind of membrane off. You were talking about putting that pit, the paint on the top of it, you to waterproof the roof. And... Well, it's going to be interesting. So the next stage is to get all of that to the tip and try and rescue my garden. And Honestly, it's a beautiful Get rid of all of that. <laughs> what are you talking about where I got the... He came and dissed me out because... It's a beautiful garden. It's a shame got all those branches there because it was an immaculate lawn. Did <laughs> <laughs> see my lawn out. It's just such a shame that those bushes are there. The savagery. Well, yeah, it needs completely empty it's cleaning. Really it's rushing down, getting rid of the wildlife, doesn't it? It and does. Then, um, and then knocking that joining wall down. Those are the first things. There's something I need to talk to you about. How many tools did you break during this? Look at my broom. I didn't break them. You I watched you. You purchased He used a broom stuff. like a flipping gorilla. <laughs> Grabs hold of a, like a... I don't know what gorillas grab hold of. Like a <laughs> banana. And he was like really angry and hungry. He just went mental at it. <laughs> then his hedge trimmer, which he brought around, which was really nice of him, which belongs to his neighbour. He's burnt that out as well. But then... It burnt out. It burnt out. <laughs> and it was a shame... And then his cutters, which are over there, um, he need brought them as well. I just get excited. Where I found a pair of cutters in there that I used five years ago when I cut this back last time, and they work fine. Yeah, and that is, I can't disagree with that, but let's say that the roof is made up of four major panels. I cleaned three of them. So I may have broken tools in the process, but I was more productive. Uh, so I can't fight that really. No, I might have. 
I think my side was harder. <laughs> you want to see the drop on the other side of there? It's terrifying as well, isn't it? It's probably how many feet do you reckon that is? I would say I would say oh, I'm going away from feet. I'm gonna say it's about ten meters. Why are you going away from feet? I like feet. I don't even know what, what 20 foot, what's 20, 10 metres in feet? It's three, three foot a metre, isn't it? Just over. Two and a half foot, is it? No, it's three. Two and a half foot a metre. Three foot. Is it? Yeah, so it's, <laughs> sure it's three foot. It's flipping high, though. It is high. It's high enough that I was leaning over, over, over the edge, trying to cut this last route, and Al had me held by my pockets and my jeans. I think it was just an excuse to touch me bum, but... Well, I figured if I was going to lose him, I might as well have a quick scooch. <laughs> so there you go. I'm a little concerned about the gap there as well. Because if the kids wander through there, that you can see it peel back. I'll have a quick beer in hand. Uh, you can... three of them, though, John. If you lose one, you can two more. Well, that's true. This is a little dangerous now, so I'm going to have to make something for that. But you can see where it's peeled off at the back. But there's all the tops. I was hung over that corner. But years ago, there used to be two trailers there, lorry trailers. And um, you couldn't actually access that part. So, And what we used to get is kids would climb the trailer, climb onto the roof of this, and then get in the garden. And then go through our garden to get to the main road. So I just thought, oh, I'm not having that anymore. So I put a big security light up, which is massive. It's like a football ground when it, it lights, lights up. The world. I, I live over a mile away and it works me up. <laughs> well, the first time I turned it on, the curtains on the other side of the set fire. Set fire, yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they didn't set fire. But they opened. They actually opened the uh, curtains to see what the light was. That's bad, that is. So there you go. Welcome to the Carsey Inn. I think this could be our the first ever shed build. No, that's not the right word. Pub build out of some toilets. Bold statement. It would be cool if it was. I remember watching a grand designs where a woman turned a, a set of underground toilets in central London into a pub. Oh, I've seen that, yeah. And then there's those, they've started turning, they've started selling off uh, public loos, haven't they, in Kirkley to people turning into sandwich shops. Yeah, I've seen that. So a pub, yeah, you're right, it could be. Yeah. Could be well, certainly the first home pub shed. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And the best. It's going to be the best. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go, peeps. It's been awesome. I've been awesome. Al's broken everything. He's been awesome, I guess. I've had a rum and coke at four in the afternoon, so I'm ready for bed. That's it. Have fun. <laughs>